Hi, I'm Jeremy with Best Choice DJs. Today I'm going to go over five huge reasons why every mobile DJ should have their own camera. I bet when you think about DJ equipment, a camera is the last thing on your mind. But I'm going to quickly go over five reasons why you should have one and then we'll look at each of these reasons in more detail. The first reason is because you can use the camera to take photos and video for your own promotional use. The second reason is taking photos for your clients or video is a great way to go above and beyond for each client which is a great business practice that I do. The third one is it's another way for you to make money. Fourth one, it's another way for you to get more bookings. And the fifth is it will help you get more reviews. I recommend going with a full frame camera. It could be either mirrorless or a DSLR. But you want to go with a full frame because they have more potential to have the ISO increased which is really good for low light situations and you're gonna find if you're doing events like I'm doing you're gonna end up in low light situations very often so that really makes a big difference in your camera so let's dive in and look at each one of those separately now the first reason why you should have a camera is to shoot your own promotional photos and or video you don't think about it you're already there DJing anyway. Why not document the magic that you're making happen? After all, think about it, your potential clients are going to want to see that. When they're trying to decide between you and someone else and everything else is equal, price and assuming the quality, they're going to be much more likely to go with you because they see you. They see how you dress. They see how you carry yourself. They hear how you do the uh, introductions into uh, the beginning of a wedding and uh, reception. They will be able to know, like, and trust you just by watching your videos. Photos are good too. I take photos. I like to upload them onto Instagram and then with just a simple one click of a button that also gets shared to my Facebook page, which is an efficient use of my time. I'm not having to go to both social media sites and share, so I like that. Also, people find you on social media. It shows that you're active. If someone goes to your page, they see that you're posting things regularly. You know, if you do just one gig a week, but you get five photos out of that one gig, then now you have five photos to share that week and if that's all you share then that's fine and you go to another gig you get another five or seven and so on it shows that you're being active so if anyone looks there if you you know if someone sees your profile and you haven't shared anything for three months how do they know that you have even worked in the past three months it kind of looks like you haven't had a gig in three months for all they know and not only can you use those photos for sharing, but you can also use those same photos to make like your cover photos for your um, Facebook page or for your YouTube channel or for your website. So you can repurpose these photos as well. That way you're not using some generic stock footage, which is kind of obvious to tell to a lot of people. You know, not only can you upload your photos and videos to Instagram and Facebook. You can also upload your videos to YouTube. That's another way to um, establish yourself and maybe if not even if none of your potential clients see it, maybe another DJ in your area sees your videos and they because they see you do a good job they refer you someone when their client, someone that they know needs a DJ and they're already booked. So um, there's a lot of different reasons to do this and this is only the beginning of it. 
because an another another thing to think about is I think that Google will recognize that you're publishing content regularly while it doesn't really directly affect SEO much it's got to look a lot better in Google's eyes when you're posting content regularly to Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and then you're embedding the, those YouTube videos onto your website. And also what that does is it keeps people on your website longer, which does help your SEO. If they go there and they're like, ah, two seconds later, they're, they're bouncing off. It's, it's, it's called a, um, it's your bounce rate. When that happens a lot, Google's like, oh, well, these people weren't that interested in whatever they found when they went here. But if they go there and they watch your video, even if it's for a minute, that kept them on your site longer. And Google's going to see that as being more important and they're going to boost it in the search results. One of the things I've just started doing recently is doing a gig log. I saw other people doing their own gig logs on YouTube and basically it's like a blog but a video blog like a vlog but it's of your gigs you're blogging about your gigs on video and video is a great medium to show it because it includes audio and people dancing it's really great so I just started doing that and I'm really excited about doing my gig logs in the future the second reason DJ should have their own camera is they can use it to go above and beyond for their clients. I strongly believe going above and beyond is a good business practice for any business. But when you're throwing um, events, when you're facilitating a couple's most important day of their lives up until that point, you need to take it very seriously and not just do the bare minimum. You want to under promise, over deliver. And a camera is a great way to do that because you can actually take free photos for them. I mean, you need photos for your blog, you need photos for your social media sites. And, you know, what better time to get those photos than when you're at a gig? If you're standing behind a DJ booth, you can just simply grab your camera when everyone's dancing, bounce around, going nuts, and just start snapping a few photos. Now, when I get a photography gig, I shoot in what's called RAW. That means the photos have to be edited. But when I'm DJing, I don't always do that because I don't always have the time to go and edit them. It's a whole process, importing them into the computer, editing them, exporting them. So a lot of times I'll just shoot JPEG so that way I don't have to edit the photos if I don't want to. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll shoot both. The third reason DJ should have a camera is because they can make more money with it. It's an easy service to offer on top of your DJ service. What I've been doing is I'll just offer to put a camera on a tripod and it's not a lot of work. This is the way I explain it to them. I'm like, hey, look, I'm already going to be there. It's not a whole lot more work for me to put a camera on a tripod and record your wedding. And because I'm already getting paid to be there to DJ, I'm already making my money for the weekend. Extra money is icing on the cake. So, you know, I, I tell them if I were to just come out and shoot a video, I would have to charge you what everyone else charges you. But since you're already paying me to be there to DJ your event, I can slap a camera on a tripod, record the whole thing, because I'm the DJ, I have control of the audio, which gets you a nice, clean source of audio. And while it may not be as good as if I was only shooting the video, it's a fraction of the price, and a lot of people end up going without a video because they can't fit it into the budget. But I'll give it to them for so cheap that they can actually squeeze it in there. So while it may not be some, you know, $5,000 cinematic film, it's still a million times better than no video at all. The fourth reason a DJ should have a camera is it's gonna help them get more bookings. So this is pretty much tied in with 
the last one, which is basically making more money, because you can make more money because you can charge an extra service. Say, hey, I'll shoot your video for whatever, 500 bucks. But not only will you get more money off those gigs, but you can also get more gigs that you wouldn't have got otherwise. Like I said before, I've had clients who basically told me no, but then once I told them that they were going to get photos, they changed their mind and actually booked me. So sometimes I can make more money by using a camera, and sometimes I'll end up getting some money instead of no money. Maybe I would have been at home doing nothing that weekend, and I convinced them to book me just because of the camera. I've had this happen a lot. Sometimes people, they just, uh, maybe if it's a, um, a certain kind of event, a birthday party or something like that, they want a DJ for music, but they don't have the budget for a photographer. Well, if they can get two for one, it's kind of a no-brainer for a lot of people. You know, not for everyone, but it certainly has helped me close gigs, um, close deals, and book clients that otherwise wouldn't have booked me. The fifth reason every DJ needs a camera is because it's going to get them more reviews. If you do a good job, you're going to get good reviews. Plain and simple. When you take photos or video for a client, you have to reach out to them after the fact to give it to them. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to try to get them to give you a review. Now, if you were to only DJ for them and not have any photos, yes, you could still email them, say, hey, it was a pleasure to DJ for you. I had a great time. By the way, would you review me? That's what I used to do. But now, instead of just basically emailing them to thank them and ask them for a review, now I'm giving them something, something of value, really something that's in a way, priceless. I'm giving them something that's priceless in many cases. And all I'm asking them to do is take one minute and write me a review. Not only are they going to be more likely to do that, but it will also be more of a favorable review because after all, you went above and beyond for them and you did more than they paid you for. I like to share the photos online, like maybe on Facebook, and to an album, and then when I write them, I'll link that, I'll put a link to that album in the email. I'll say, hey, I shared the photos, they're on Facebook, check it out, feel free to share it. And then sometimes people get on there, and they'll like your page, or they'll share it, and this gives you free exposure to their friends and family. Maybe they saw you at the event, and they... They didn't think about asking you for a card, or you were just too busy, or they were just too shy, they didn't want to ask for your card. Um, or maybe they just didn't know how good your photos were. And now that they say, wow, this guy DJ'd and took photos, this is great. They've got your information now. They have your page, they can easily go to your website, they can get your phone number from your Facebook page. And it's all because you took these photos and... and you put them online, now everyone has access to see them and therefore access to get in touch with you. And if you also shot video two, you can send one email with the photos. By the way, can you review me? Let them check that out and hope that they review. But if that's all, what well, you're pretty much done. What else can you do besides write them again? Say, hey, how about that review? But if you still have a video that you want to give them, that gives you another reason to email them a few days later and then say, hey, here's the video that I shot. I figured you would want to see it. Hey, by the way, here's the links again to review me, you know, whatever, however you want to word it. And just do it a little bit different each time. But the point is, is you're not just begging them every couple days send them another email asking for a review. You are giving them something and that is the purpose of the email and the review is secondary.
since the photos are going to be in a folder on my computer and I'm emailing the client anyway, it's really just a few clicks of a button to attach the photos. So oftentimes I'll actually send them the photos and I'll just attach them to the email. It only takes me a few seconds and then they actually have the photos themselves. That could be a reason for another email. Or if you know how, it's really easy to do on a Mac in the iPhotos app, you can quickly make a slideshow. And that would basically be like creating a video using the photos. And that gives you another reason to email. It gives you another thing to upload to YouTube, to Facebook, to Instagram. And so you're seeing how all this works. It, it, it builds your business by promoting yourself, by staying active, and at the same time, you're going above and beyond for your clients, and that also gives you more reasons to reach out to your clients after the fact, after you've already won them over by your DJ service. You're just, you're not done after that. You're not just getting your paycheck and you're gone. After they've paid you, you're still delivering and delivering and delivering. And that will dramatically increase the chances of you getting a review. There was a book I read a long time ago called Influence by Robert Cialdini. That book has a lot of different tactics in there. It's basically sales, how to influence people. And one of the principles that he discussed was that when people are giving something for free, they are more likely to do what you want them to do. That's why when you go to the mall or something, they've got the free samples of the chicken. They want you to try it because then you're more likely to buy it. In this case, that means they'll be more likely to write you the review after you've just done something for them for free. I hope you got a lot out of this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, of course, the usual. Hit that um, subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when I have future videos. I'm going to be doing more videos like this, so make sure to subscribe and we'll build our business together. And if you have a question, something to add to it, or an idea for a future video, let us know in the comments below.